Hi, today we're demonstrating how to download an ebook to your iPad using the Overdrive Media Console app. First, you'll need to download and install the Overdrive Media Console app on your iPad. Search the iTunes Store for Overdrive to find this free app. Tap the Overdrive icon on your iPad. This will open up the application and your collection of audio and ebooks downloaded through Overdrive. Click on the Get Books button in the upper right corner of the screen and we'll add the Digital Download Center. Tap Add a Website. This will open up a web, your web browser, Safari in our case. Tap in the search box and type the name of your library. We'll search for South Central Library System. This will bring up SCLS and our all our 53 member libraries. Scroll to find your library and tap to select your choice. We'll use SCLS. Note that Wisconsin Public Library Consortium comes up. SCLS is a member of WPL WPLC, which is how we subscribe to OverDrive. Select this option to continue. This brings us to the Digital Download Center, where we can search for audio or eBooks. For demonstration purposes, I'll use the currently available eBooks option. You can browse or search the catalog for other titles. From this list, I'll select Club Dead, then tap Add to My Cart. From here, you can continue browsing or proceed to checkout. We'll start the checkout process. First, select your library system. We're in the South Central Library System. Then, enter your library card number. At the Confirm Checkout screen, we have the option to choose a lending period. 7 or 14 days. My default is 14 days, but I'll choose 7 days for this title. Then select Confirm Checkout. At the next screen, tap the green Download button. This will bring back the OverDrive Media Console app. If this is the first time you're downloading an ebook, you'll need to create an Adobe ID and authorize the iPad with that ID. If you already have an Adobe ID, select Sign In. If you need to create one, choose res Register at Adobe.com. This will open up your web browser again. At the Sign In page, select Create an Adobe Account and complete the form. Remember the email address and password that you use to create this account. You'll need them to authorize your iPad. Select Continue and follow the instructions on the next screen. Be sure to sign out of your Adobe account. The sign out is in the upper right corner of the screen. I already have an Adobe ID, so I'll go back to the Digital Download Center and click on the green Download button again. This time, I'll select Sign In. Select Authorize with Adobe ID. Enter your ID and password. Then tap Authorize and your device will be activated. Notice that your Adobe ID is now included on the Settings screen. You only need to do this once. Future checkouts and downloads will be much faster. Now that the iPad is authorized and activated, we're ready to download our title. Back to the Digital Download Center and tap Download. The Overdrive Media Console will appear again and your title will be loaded. Here you have an option to download now or download your title later. For today's demonstration, we'll download now. Wait while the Overdrive Media Console processes your title. Tap the title to begin reading it. The arrow at the right will give you more information about the title, including the expiration date. Begin reading your title. Use the arrow key in the upper left corner to return to your library.
tap the Get Books button and note that the w Wisconsin Public Library Consortium website is now listed here. Next time, tap this link to go directly to the Digital Download Center and search for books. Note the other options at the bottom of the screen, Settings, Help, and More. When the title has expired or you've finished reading the book, you can delete the title from the iPad by selecting the Edit button at the top of the library page. Note the red button with the minus sign in it. Tap that and then the red Delete button to remove the title. Tap Done when you're finished. This demonstration was conducted on an iPad, but this app also works on the iPhone and the iPod Touch. The process for downloading an ebook is the same. For help, visit dbooks.wplc.info and select Help in the upper right corner, or contact your local library. Thanks for watching!